Tarman has been in the golf game for more than 40 years. He's good, too. He's a teacher. He's worked with some of the best golfers ever. They include Greg Norman, Phil Mickelson, and Tiger Woods, who called him, quote, the best instructor in the world. I'm pleased to have Butch Harmon with us in Studio 57. Welcome. Uh, Charlie, uh, when I, you I, say pleased to have, you really do mean I mean, pleased I really do mean pleased. <laughs> yeah. Let me just say two things. So this is really important. I say to, to all of my friends, but especially women, learn to play golf. Yeah, we were just why? talking to Gail, and yeah, Gail tell says she why you play. think that's a great thing for her to do. Yes, First help of all, me understand, Butch. The beauty of golf is it's a great understanding of yourself, how you handle different situations, how your personality deals with different situations. And it's very challenging, and I think you'd enjoy it. Do you? you? You like challenges. You know, I, I do like challenges, but I've always heard that you can tell a lot by a person, by the way he or she plays the game, how they react to other people, and how they react to when things don't go well. And, and you can read, it tells you everything. So let me pick sure. up on what she said and even sure. jump in on her question. Taking what she just said, apply it to Tiger Woods. Well, Tiger Woods was groomed to be who he is. I mean, his father, Earl Woods, saw tremendous talent at a young age, and uh, he groomed him to be this great superstar that we see today. Uh, you remember he was on, what, the Mike Douglas show when yeah, he was three yeah. years Boy, old. He's yeah. been in the limelight his whole life. He made sure that he always had good instruction all throughout his, his youth, whether it be from uh, Rudy Duran or John Alsamo or myself, and through mental preparation, too. But what she just said, you can tell something about a person by the way they play golf. Yeah. What can you tell about Tiger by the way he's playing golf today? Well, I think the tiger we see today is a little bit lost compared to the tiger in the past. And I say that only because he's going through another revamp of his swing. You know, if you think about Tiger Woods and his greatness, uh, when I started with Tiger, he was 17. Yeah. And we went through two different revamps of his swing. Then he went with Hank Haney and now with Sean Foley. So he is continuing to change his swing. Now, the average person would say, well, why would someone that good do that? Because he has this burning desire to always get better. And he's never satisfied with so where he is. So what's wrong with that? Yeah. Absolutely nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But having said that, Charlie, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time to change. And, you know, you look at Tiger, he's had four knee surgeries. Yeah. Uh, he's had so many off-course uh, problems. And all of these things enter into your nervous system and your psyche and your confidence yeah. level. So do you believe, as I do, that he will win another major? No, I think he'll win a major. I'm not sure. I believe that too, guys. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure now he will break Jack Nicklaus's record. It's going to be hard to win five. He has 14 and needs 18. Yeah, he's got, he's, got to, to he's got to win five more to break the record. And in the, against this competition, that's going to be difficult. You have said, but Charmin, that you wanted to touch every golfer, that you wanted to put people in situations at every golf situation imaginable. Do you believe that anybody can learn how to play this game? Sure. I think, any, I think anybody can learn to play golf. And, Gail, let me explain to you why I think you would love golf. Golf is a game for all ages. It's, you can start when you're very young. You can play. I'm almost 70 years old. You can play well into your older years. Uh, it's a game that you can enjoy doing. You can play with your friends. You can play a, alone. Uh, well, playing alone is fun. You get out there and you practice. Is, you get indeed. in the evening. Charlie knows. He probably goes out to Deepdale in the evening and plays a little I bit. In, in the no, Charlie loves but the game. But the, the beauty of it is the little ball doesn't move until you move it. <laughs> and there, there's where all the rewards yeah. come from, and that's where all the negative things come from yes. also. Mm. But clearly people trust you, though. You were named the best teacher for 11 consecutive years. The people that you have on your tape, Greg Norman, even Tiger Woods, I'm thinking people clearly respect and admire the work that you do. Well, thank you for saying that, Gail. I think I, believe I, that. I came from a great golfing family. My father, Claude Harmon, won the Masters in 1948. Uh, I played the tour myself in the late 60s, early 70s, so I kind of have an understanding with tour players what they're going through when they're out there, yeah. and I think that's helped me. Okay, but tell us what it is. Let's assume you're the best golf instructor among the top three, say. Mm -hmm. What is it you see? How do you see a swing, whether it's Phil Mickelson or whether it's Charlie Rose? What well, is I think, are you looking for? For me, I have a good eye. I see things that... And I can't tell you why I see them. My wife says it's a nightmare to go to a movie with me because I see every flaw in the movie. Yeah. But you make a swing and my mind's like a computer. All of a sudden I see about 50 things at once and it just clicks. And what I see in your swing that isn't right, that causes all the problem, jumps out at me. Yeah. And then you have to articulate it to the individual. And I, I go back to the way my father taught my brothers and I 
he said you have to teach golf at a second grade level, meaning mm. the second grader can understand what you what say. I saying. think today people make it a little too complicated. And, and so when the great ones have something going wrong with their game, what do you see? What kinds of things happen to people you know, who've had more than 10,000 hours on the golf course. Well, you go back really to basic fundamentals. You go right back to grip, posture, set up, everything, alignment. Yeah. Uh, as you saw in the tape when Ernie Els, I, the work I did with Ernie Els when I first started with him, he was hitting a seven iron, aimed 20 yards to the right and didn't know it. Here's yeah. one of the best players in the world. So you go back to basic fundamentals, then you look at what someone does naturally. I don't like to take away what you do naturally. I just yeah. try and improve on it. And then you, you diagnose what you think needs to be done. The secret to teaching at all levels yeah. is to fix the one main thing that lets four or five other things fall into place. Most people try and fix five things to fix one, and that doesn't work. Butch, before you came and I saw Charlie do something I've never seen him do before. He was over there by the desk. I said, shoot, Charlie. You know, he's practicing the golf swing. And you, when you walked in, he said to you, how did it look? And what did you say to him? Well, he was taking a little too much on the inside. <laughs> yeah. but we can fix that, Charlie. Don't worry about that. Charlie, I'll he says Vegas. anybody can learn at any age. Really, really nice to yeah, see it's you. It's my pleasure. I wake up to you guys every morning. We, my wife, Christy, and I, we love your show. Thank oh, you, Butch. Thanks. Great thanks. to see you. Butch Harmon, All About Golf, is on sale now in DVD.